Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Hey, ladies. Quiet morning. Uh, my daughter is sleeping. She stayed up late because she slept for seven hours when she came in yesterday. So uh, then she stayed up at night. I didn't go to bed myself till about one in the morning. So yeah, that was interesting. But anyway, ladies, I wanted to show you some beautiful things that came in today. And this, okay, it's two things. So Jen Sadiq, I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, thank you so much. Y'all, this is the privacy screen that I've been waiting for. This is that privacy screen. So why don't you take a look? So it was on Amazon. It was from my wish list. And Jen Sadiq, uh, one of our sisters that really support me here on YouTube and all my platforms, she, you know, purchased it from the, I think it's, yeah, it was Amazon's wish list. I have another one, Target. Anyway, oh my God, and it's gorgeous. So anyway, I wanted this privacy screen. Do y'all check out the pattern? Look at the pattern. To me, see, I see Afrocentricity. That whole, like I told you, that whole geometric African look, love it. Uh, it was described as, too, the description on the Amazon site was it said the color was black and white but i always when i purchase anything or interested in purchasing anything on amazon i always look at the reviews does do any of you do that when you get a chance to comment let me know and those that are watching the recording do you always do you look at the review i always read the reviews because the reviews are those are people telling you what the condition it came in or the color is not true so when the review, it kept complaining that beautiful, beautiful uh, privacy panel, but it wasn't true black and white. It was kind of an orangey or like a yellowish or a beige's, but really it's the, it's the uh, kind of straw, you know, I call it straw. That straw, and you know I love this natural, the rattans, the, you know, the natural kind of wood elements thin, and it feels good too. There's plastic covering this. I didn't really undertake the plastic off, but... I knew when they kept saying it wasn't black and white, they kept inferring what it looked like. I knew it looked like this. And they should have just advertised it as that because people would want this if you have to advertise sometimes correctly so people can find you. So isn't it gorgeous? Can't you totally see my space like filled with this? Can't you totally, absolutely see it? I know you can. So anyway, I don't see, I don't know if anybody's on or not. I see seven people watching, so that's good. Let me show you the next thing. This is from Victoria's Diary. She's a young woman that has a wonderful YouTube channel right here. And uh, it's called Victoria's Di Diary, a young woman from Liberia, my Liberian queen. And so she gave me this book. Hey, I'm Monique. How are you, darling? The book says, okay, so her, her gift card says, Hello, Queen. Ah, to Roa. Ah, to Roe means thank you in crew, my Liberian tribe. I wanted to send you this gift and dot it off for your new home anyway. It's beautiful. And her, her, she says, Peace and blessings. And her YouTube channel is Victoria's Diary. So one of you wonderful ladies told me about this author right here. Do you see that name? That's the name here, Micheline Thomas. She's a photographer. She catches it. She catches, you know, black life. Uh, her black life, actually, coming up in the 70s like me with a mother that was pretty eclectic and also in that whole era. And so her photographs are kind of featuring like the style basically that I like. And remember my space, especially my living room, was an old to my, my coming up, if you will, my upbringing and what I saw around me. So anyway, had just found out about her. Hey, Tanya, had just found out about this from one of you wonderful ladies. You told me about this artist, photographer, and I went on Amazon and I found her book of photography. And we're going to definitely open this. And I found her book of photography and I, or I put it on my Amazon wish list, and Victoria's Diary bought it for me. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at both. I mean, these are two. Let's even look at them together. These are two amazing gifts. And this book, the thumbs up if you're loving both the privacy screen. Hey, good morning. The privacy screen and the queen. The queens. A book like, <laughs> what? And it's heavy, y'all. So, uh. So yeah, I'm very excited. So, and guess what? You want to talk about blessed? You want to talk about goddess energy? The postman from the old place 
dropped it off on his day off. He's uh, going to make, make some pies for his, him and his wife's, I don't know if it's a church or whatever. It don't even matter. <laughs> I mean, it matters that they're doing great things. He dropped it off for me. So I got my screen without having to go to the Saxon Paha and that beautiful, this beautiful book. Yes, the project screen is everything, yes. So thank you. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely undo these. Hey, Deborah, this booklet so we can look at it, but don't that, just to show you, come on now. Don't that just look good right there? Look at that, just, when you're an artist, I'm talking about all of y'all. You're an artist, everything you do and touch is art. So I told you what I like to do in my room. I really walk around or stand around or sit around in every kind of space or angle or you know, corner, if you will, so that I can see. And not because I want things to be perfect, but because you discover all these new things about how your style, the things that you have in your home, is part of your style. So you never worry about like, let's say, oh, you moved to another residence, then this old stuff is not gonna fit the new stuff or, or fit the new house. But it is because it's that every piece really goes with each other. I feel like that the core for me is like telling your story, like telling exactly who you are. Nobody has to guess. They can come in and see like, oh, she likes colors or, you know, another thing that I love and I wanted to share this with y'all. So uh, you know that I'm in Durham now, so I'm actually, and not in Durham, actually one with some Saxapaha, but I'm meeting Southerners now, people that are actually born in North Carolina or the South, which I wasn't, in Saxapaha, that's how the uh, postman is a Southerner and uh, the, the, the worker here is a Southerner as well. So it's, it's a story to this. So you don't know y'all, but as for those that don't know Southerners, if you don't know, a lot of us Northerners or folks from our West, we don't really, we never touched cotton before, but we have this idea that you all have or that you all know about cotton or you got stories about cotton or, you know, that you actually somehow are closer to slavery than we are. And I think on an energetic level, yes, but no, not really, in the sense that it was two Southerners who loved the cotton, by the way, and wanted to touch it. And they both told me stories of they used to ride through the country when they did going to see their grandmas and they would see cotton and they wanted to go out and touch it. So a lot of us are not, any of us are that from that generation. I think the, that struggle was hidden from us because we didn't want to talk about it because it was a painful past, but you don't know. And they loved it too. So two Southerners loved it and they all wanted to touch it. So it's like, you know, your house to me, my house is like an exploration. <laughs> like I actually want people to come in and like take their time and be like, mm-hmm, yeah. Kind of like an art gallery where you actually want to contemplate, you know, each piece and what is that feeling and you know, wow, what is, what is her story? But they, you don't have to ask my story. When you walk in, this is the story. So, so that's why that goes so well. And then Maya Wallace's, Afrocentric throw goes so well. But even the this I bought before I even moved to North Carolina, this robe goes so well than an indinker symbol. So a same thing with because I'm seeing now, now that all this stuff is coming in from the wish list, I'm seeing my style, which is a little different than Warren Goodson's style. You see? So I'm seeing my style. I'm like, oh, that's that's so dang dope. So let's look at it closer. <laughs> Let's look at it closer. So it's, wait, I just want you to know, you can see it's four panels. Let's see if I get you a nice little side view. Yes. It's like uh, rice paper. You know, I like that feeling of the rice paper. And so it's four, look at it. So it's already put together, y'all. It's already put together. Isn't that wonderful? So I don't have to like put, I didn't know, you know, like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I didn't know if, we, if I would have to put these on, I guess I would be building it. And it's four panels, by the way. And it has that earthy, hey Monique, it has that earthy, I mean, I could take this off, but I can already feel it and I'll show you it. Yeah, that's really pretty. Wait, hold on ladies, you don't wanna see this. It's really gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece. I got this off Amazon as well. This is on Amazon. And I'll definitely put the link in the description box, but do you really see that? Yeah, that's the room design of the vitamin, Miss Jackie. Do y'all really actually see that? It's that paper-like, but the African and, oh God. I don't know if you can see as well as I can, but isn't that beautiful when you take that plastic away and you really see? And isn't it my style though? So that's what I'm kind of saying here is, 
you know, you got a style and it's your style and it might be the style is no style, but that's still your style. And so that piece, I, I'm, I'm not even sure where it's gonna go now. I wasn't thinking down here cause I got this specific vibe down here, a little specific vibe, but you know, the vibe could change. I still know it's for upstairs and it's gonna be in the beauty room. The beauty room ain't done yet. The whole house is not done. So yeah. So, and another thing y'all, I was out here in my yard or my patio, yeah, patio or whatever somebody said. I don't know, never get it. But anyway, and I was just thinking about how looking so forward to the spring or planting season, where I'll start to bring in my plants, have some herbs, but also have a flower garden container. Like I said, I had a deck in Cali and I did it out there and it was unbelievable. Like I said, I had things that were attracting the hummingbirds and the beads and I was knowing my flowers and plants and what grew well in my zone. And so I know all that's still in me. So another thing, can you, I'm so excited about, and look, you see a couple of wildflowers, spring is coming. I'm so excited about covering this piece of cement, covering this, and that that's just gonna change it. And that how I want this to still feel like a living room. I, I know me, it's gonna have to have that vibe that people wanna come and stay. And so, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. So let me see what this, and oh, let me tell you about these heavenly incense. So a sister Berla, Miss Berla Johnson, who is a one of the queens in the mastermind group, she sent me these, you might remember y'all, I did a review on them, uh, back hole. Uh, Nabil, and I'm not even gonna try to fix, mess it up for y'all. But anyway, they're incense cones. And I didn't burn this yet, I'm actually gonna burn it. And it's funny, at Whole Foods, I bought a cone burner. But let's look at these again, because I'm, every room dictates something different for me. And the living room is burning incense like incense, so smoke, things that's kind of smoke. And the rest of the house is the, the essential aroma, the, uh, the aroma, the, the, what do you call it? essential oil diffusers so anyway i think these are cones i'm going to open this up and i'm going to burn these incense because i'm feeling it but she has some cheer eye that she sent me such a smart idea the cheer eye when i first get it i gotta definitely treat it even more sacred when i first get it when it's nice and wet because that's why you really like the cheer eye this is the senegalese incense you want to store it in like a glass container like miss miss uh, burla has it in this gift because it's going to keep the moisture and the moisture is really where the the potency is and really the medicine you know so you want it nice and and a lot of if you don't like if you put it in a plastic bag the way that the brother sells it to me uh then it dries out immediately and yes it's still nice but it's not the potency and so she gave me this hmm i've been here two months ago at least six and it is wet as the day that she gave it to me and this is a glass jar. So this is the Chirai. So I've been burning that and enjoying burning that. So I'm gonna burn her other one. And then this is the, the, the other Chirai that I told you. It's kind of a powdery, wonderful uh, rock form, if you will, resin and uh, another kind of Chirai. So yeah, this is my space to burn incense. But another thing I did, let me show you. I told you I wanted to fix a few things. So I moved the masks, the masks up because I wanted to see them, you know, in, in my way. But I also wanted to place, because I wanted to place this, I remember the um, lamp, y'all, that I got yesterday, Amazon wish list, no, Target wish list, thank you. Um, I wanted to position that. And so everything else had to be positioned, you know. And then this wasn't high enough before this in Kofa Bird. So I pulled that up. And there's a Dogon door back there that was back there that nobody probably really saw. This used to be in the bathroom. Let me show you. This used to be, so you see details, in the bathroom of the last apartment I lived in. And the Dogon door people of Mali, West Africa, the Dogon tribe, very spiritual tribe, spiritual ethnic group, spiritual people. Yes, so, so yeah, so I fixed that. And um, yeah, there was a picture here that wasn't being seen because of this land, because once you move one thing, you move 25 things. So it was my daughter and I. Uh, so I wanted to just get that higher up. And I decided to put my dolls back. So I got this thing too, sometimes, you know, I change, but sometimes I like to see 
everything don't have to be lined up like what I, my eyes attracted to when I sit here is the men holding up each other and then something inside could go in the middle. Like I love that scene. So I'm starting to pull things and just kind of when you're looking, you're still seeing something that's, you know, pleasing to the eye. So I have a basket back here. And so I decided to put in this basket is my two dolls, my two ancestor dolls. There's some musical instruments and that's it, real simple. So, yes, I'm loving, loving the space. Been out the, been, I've been outside uh, all morning because it was sunny. I think it's about to get not so sunny anymore. But yeah, I've been sitting out there. That's just a regular chair, a regular lounge chair from, uh, what do you call it? Like, it was Kroger's, was the restaurant out in the, that's in the South. Maybe it's other places, but I never heard of it before. And uh, I said, I need me a sun chair now. <laughs> and I bought that. So it's very, you know, cheap. It's nothing. But, of course, I put my, uh, of course, you know, I had to put my little animal print on there or something. <laughs> I had to put, something had to be funky. As James Brown said, it's got to be funky. So I funked it out a bit. And uh, I sat in it. So, yes, let's see who's on today. I'm Monique. Hey, queen. Hey, Tanya. Hey, good morning. I'm goddess. Yes, you like the privacy screen? Isn't it beautiful? Greetings. Isn't that screen nice? I can't wait to see it open. Oh, it's going to be pretty. Hey, Jacqueline the Visionary. Hey, hey, my exactly decor in my house definitely says I have small children. Oh, 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 oh. hey, Matilda, peace and blessings. I'm happy I managed to see you live. Thank you. I need some of that cotton. I used to get teased about not recognizing cotton when I moved to NC. Okay, because, yeah, we didn't see it. I wanted to ask if there is any. I wanted to ask you if there's any. If there's any place to get cotton, it's a place called Black Cotton. A black, uh, black cotton, uh, three or four generations of cotton growers in North Carolina. Black cotton. Uh, check out their websites, Black Cotton. I hope that's what you were asking. Hey, Monique, I like the girl's afro on the book cover. What is the title of the book, Lisa? Very good. Let's do that. And we can open it, too. Okay. So, the title of the book is Muse, which is so cool. And let me see if I could easily open this. So let's see, ladies. So we can look at these pictures. And of course, as you ladies notice, this is a coffee table book. So that's always nice. Yeah, her stuff, apparently she blew up. I won't, I can't say, I'm sorry. Oh, that's, oh, I love that. I'm almost taking that off. That's so dope here. But anyway, something like something like a journal. And then you have like a, a, a book, a, another piece of kind of paper on top of the journal. That's what it feels like. But anyway, yeah, she blew up apparently when she did, and so her pieces are worth lots of money, good money, which I'm so happy for the sister. So happy for the sister. So, yeah. All right. We did it together. So right off the bat, what I love about it is, first of all, do you see my shape that I like? Do you see the, the pyramid, the diamond, the geometric slightly? That, and the two textured thing with this, you can tell, is almost like a sleeve put over it, but color like it's her photography on a certain kind of paper. I love it. I love the feel. I can't, I cannot help feeling it. And so let's see if I got it open again. Victoria's Diary, if you're watching, I want to say thank you. So Micheline Thomas photographs Muse. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. That's so real. That's so real. I love that. Go on, Dad. Real black women. See, I love that. Oh, my God, that is real. I call this real black women. Women that look like us every day and fine. How cool is that? Y'all know I would wear that. Y'all know I would wear that outfit. And match the, yep, and match the couch to it. That'd be me all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> she is so real. Go ahead, then. Did you see that? She is so real. Look at that, y'all. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is all my bohemian stuff. This is, okay, sister, good looking out who you told me that told me I would love this designer. And y'all, is this a picture book or what? Do you see that color in the back? It's funny, that's the exact color or almost that is available at the leasing office. The ones that if they painted themselves, this is the color 
that I was closest to choosing. And I was like, no, it's not the kind of blue I want, but it's looking kind of funky. It's no coincidence the same. What? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Like, this was like this. So her mother grew up, and I don't know if this is actually her mother or just a woman representing that time, but it reminds me of my mom in our space, too, during the 70s. So, yeah, this is real talk. Real women. Mm. So how do you like the book? Look at this right here. So, yeah, can you pull this up? No, but you feel like you can. I love the mixed media elements that she got going here. Oh, how cool. Look at this, y'all. Do you feel this? This is really cool. And look at back both sides because, oh my God. Love that, love that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that, talk about boho. Do you see all that? Something I said, it's not, we need to stop calling, we need to call it what it is. It's our stuff. If the, well, you know, it's the black parents that was into it because I know everybody wasn't. And I know some of us grew up in, you know, very kind of different, strict traditional black backgrounds. But I grew up in a home very similar and very free like this. That woman on the floor, I always say, hey, you look like my mom on the floor. Don't she kind of look like my mom? That woman looked like my mother. Isn't that something on the floor? Wow. <laughs> anyway, do you see these gorgeous pictures? Are they just w real women? Okay, I like that part. So I think we got the picture. And so what a wonderful coffee table. Oh, this is really, I love her. And look, she did it again. Her mixed media, she did it again. How cool is that? Isn't that beautiful? And she did it again, so she took this. What? Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's an artist. She's an artist. Look at that. Remember that, y'all? Do y'all remember when we used to put the, you know what? I'm about to go buy me. I got an idea for a wall now. What? Do y'all remember when we used to put the album covers on the wall? Is anybody remembering that? That you used to, even people, the kids in their room, your mom? That is freaking cool. The album covers on the wall and put the albums too. I used to remember that. Isn't that nice? I remember this. That's a wonderful, look at that. That's a wonderful bohemian style. Like, really check out that. Album cover, the albums on the wall style. Two different ways of looking at it. Pretty stunning. Pretty, that's a, yeah, think about that. Yes, real sisters, yep. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so I wasn't going to be interested. Look at that, though, y'all, because I think it's important for us to see, you know, these black images, and that's why I'm taking more time than I normally would. This is so important for us to see. How gorgeous this! This is my life. This is where I'm going. This is me. Wow! This is me. So on Facebook, the intensive works is that uh, there's a there's a PDF, a schedule, or a workbook, and when you go inside, you'll get the workbook, so you'll know the schedule of when I uh, do live streams. And and right now it is I do live streams on Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Myself or a guest will do Wednesday from 12 to 1 p.m. These are live Eastern Standard Time, but everything, everything is recorded, so you don't miss anything. If you go to files, you'll get all your files, which is your workbook or PDF. Uh, and if you go to videos or if you're on your phone, you go to photos, all the videos are lined up in order. Isn't this gorgeous? So if you cannot get in, just send me an email. If you're, if you're a part of the group but you're not able to access it, please send me an email at the, T-H-E, blackberrybeauty at gmail.com. Thank you. But look at the funkiness of the interior. I, I live in an apartment that had wood paneling walls. Has anybody had, did anybody have wood paneling walls when you were younger? Look at the, the, the 45s, the 45 records on the wall. <laughs> I'm loving it, the 45, y'all. Look at the couch. Okay, you're welcome. You're very welcome, darling. Very welcome. Oh my God, look at that sheet with the rest of that. Oh my, collage. Yes, I did, yes, you did. Oh, you sent me an email already? I don't know if I did got it. Let me look for it again, darling. Oh, and this is the ones on the front, the one, the one in the back, I mean, and the one in the front. Very, very nice. Very heavy book, too, y'all. This is a great, great coffee table book. Great coffee. I like that the women are real. They got real bodies and 
beautiful and but look at that space yes yes so thank you sister for hooking my mother has a place now in upstate new york with it now oh really oh judicia you gave me this okay well, i don't know if you did but uh we had red velvet wallpaper yes and a wood panel too do you remember i did had the red velvet too darling miss uh, i am goddess girl we used to put our albums up yes earth wind and fire the poses the album cover hey that's a great Y'all, that's Afrocentric home decor. That's bohemianism at, at its best. So think about doing that again. Think about doing that again. That's, that, that's a dope room. That's a dope room. Think about the fabric and co collectively just, wow. Wow. Yes. And then she does this again, which is just so beautiful. It's almost like fabric, but it's a frame. She's everything. She's everything. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. This is lovely. So anyway, I guess you could tell what I got. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's out there. She's now she's out there. I love it. She's real and she's expressive and she's sharing. It's sensuality, really. It's, it's, it's this is a wonderful book to get. That soon I'll be teaching a sexology class. This is talking about when black women's liberation, freedom, cultural expression, awareness of selves and others, freedom, you know. I love the freedom, isn't it? Just a very, just so free. Okay, y'all. Anyway, I, I, this, is, this is what it turned out to be. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, Victoria's Diary, I love you. Yes, uh, the dollies, you love the dollies. Let's see. Okay, great. Okay, good. Love the decor. Thank you. Are you going to paint your front room yet yourself? I still don't know. You know what, Matilda, there's a part of me that, yes, there's a part of me, not even a part, that's so really excited to do it. I think that I would be good at it. I mean, I think I would have to learn. You know, I'll be bad, not bad first, but I would have, you know, it's a learning curve. But I think I would be good at it. I was thinking about me painting and that, and that color going on the wall. Like, that could be so cool. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it myself because I want to push myself into things that I've never done before. So, yeah, and think about it. Once you do the painting, then you, you're not scared to paint over other places. And thank goodness I live in a place that you can paint. So, of course, I'll have to paint over it when I leave, but I, I'm planning on staying for, you know, at least five years, at least a few years. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm looking, I'm going to go online, you know me, and I'm going to look for as, you know, clean and uh, less toxins as possible because I know they have those paints. I call it just like kind of organic paints. That's just what I call it. But so I'm going to look for those paints uh, and see if, you know, maybe not go with the traditional one. And, and, you know, and get something really healthy. So we'll see. Berla Johnson, I forgot to tell you I got the scars. Okay. Hey, Journey. You know I love the dollies. It's so pretty and sunny here in the D. Oh, great. Make it funky. Yes. Beautiful book of real black women. Yes, Tanya. Go ahead. Love the book. Yes. Yes, we put the album cover on the wall. Yes. I need the record wall outfit. I'm, I need, I told, oh, the outfit, girl. What? Girl, I had worn that afro back in the day. Yes. Hey, Miss Precious. Yes, my friend still does that, but it's in yeah. Oh, I got your bathroom. The entire bathroom wall is full. See, that's so cool. That's cool, Journey. Jadisha, can anyone? Okay, good. My twin sister had about four. Oh, I had four Prince album covers above her bed. Yes. Before going to bed, she would kiss each one of them. That's what I'm saying. You pay, she asks you. There's a workbook, a syllabus. The group is private. Yes. You are right. It's our stuff. Yes, beautiful. Okay, thanks a lot. You got it. Yes, I did. My mother-in-law and my mom still have them. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. My mother has a place now in upstate New York with it now. Got you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. I now have ideas for the beer walls in my bedroom as well. I love this book. Right? It was so inspirational. And we didn't even finish it. No wood panel on the wall. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We had it. Girl, yes. The wood panel, Jadisha. Yes. That'd be dope with actual fabric. My wheels, the wheels are turning. Come on now. <sighs> I could feel it too. That book was like, oh, it was like my life. It was like my life just opened up in a book. I, I, I love it. I, I'm like speechless, so you know that's good art when you like, wow, I remember that or I feel that or I want it. I like that feeling. I love the freedom. Yes, Journey, exactly. Have worn dresses like that, girl. Take me back. I love this artist, right, Miss Jackie? Love all these ideas. Can't wait to get my own space. I'm excited. Yay, Jadisha. You should do it. It's fun and meditative. Ah, see, I missed what that should be. 
Deborah said, oh, you're painting. Thank you, Miss Goddess. I could feel it, Miss Goddess. I love you for that. I am Goddess. Mona, I love you for that. I could feel that it would be fun to meditate. That's the two words that I'm feeling the most about painting. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes, the album covers are the records displayed on your walls and shelves. Absolutely. Because that's another thing, too. I was thinking about that. On your walls or shelves, having your records displayed and everybody just looking at it, right? It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. I still wear my afro now. That's right, Jadisha, looking beautiful. I know you're hurting them. What's the author's name? Okay, I got that to you, Jay. You are welcome. Okay, go ahead. Jadisha, I see you got the book. Yes, Victoria's, Di Victoria's Diary is here, Victoria. I absolutely love it. Okay, Jackie, what a nice gift, says Maya. Victoria, I absolutely, I'm raving. We sat here together, Victoria. You got to play the video back. We sat here together. And we, st we looked at some of these books, uh, some of the uh, pages, and we are just taken. We are just so taken. So thank you. So yeah, let's go a little bit more to the back and just kind of look at these. Remember the Polaroids, y'all? Well, literally, you know, we thought that was so cool that the pictures come right there. The pictures come out right there. Did your, did your family do Polaroids? And, you know, the pictures, a big old machine, basically, like a camera. And the pictures are developing basically inside, and then they come out, and you wait. Then you got to blow it. <laughs> you got to blow the pictures. I don't know why you had to do that, but you had to do that. Oh, tell me who remembers Polaroids. Those were the good things. Yes. Oh, yeah. Their stuff is great. Look at these. So I'll give you some. Look at that. So you've got the African kind of batik on the wall, but just the way that you could do it. You could do it. That's why I said another like Afro thing when they say boho now is things that are closer to the floor. Furniture that is almost on the floor. Very low. That's a cool look too. And this is beautiful too. Now look at that. Tell me, wait, I'm in love. I'm in love. And let me see, wait, which one I'm looking? Okay, wait. So we have this. Okay, we have this. That's cool. Okay, we got this. Yeah, I like this. This is gorgeous. Different African fabric on the walls, the floors, even like that Kuba cloth pattern on the uh, floor. That's real cool. That's nice. And then, hey, where am I? Why am I? This one. That's so cool. Okay, well, I'm excited. So we got everything. So, ladies, you know, give me a few days and I will. Get this room together, and I will see you in the next video, y'all. Yeah, so anyway, ladies, I'm so glad you loved it. I had to share it. Is that gorgeous? Now, tell me that ain't super gorgeous right there. That is. Look at Mona. Mona, you see you? You see your, your, all the animal prints and how it all goes together. Mona White has a beautiful home like that. And then look at her with the, with the homemade uh, knitting and crochets, and that is really... And, that stuff is not, this is not boho, y'all. This is Afro <laughs> and all the ways that we express it. So, oh, wow. Isn't that dope, y'all? Yes, I know you do. Do you see that? Now, that's me all day, that whole style with the rug and then the chair and then the dress with the sister. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. How cool. All right, ladies. So you can read about the artist, Micheline Thomas, photographs they have something even right here and you can look her up in the early 70s my mother had our single garage remodel into a den remember the den room yes re 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 that's right replete with the wooden panel what had to the den was like that you know what thank you uh queen for kind of giving me the name that i remember that's really what i'm creating in the front room thank you for giving me Thank you for giving me the name or, or uh, reminding me of what the name is. I'm actually creating, that's what it is. She just gave it a name. That's what the front row is. I want a den, a place where we chill out in, a cool out in, you know, like the, just the, uh, the, the spot. So you, nobody really have to even go back there. That is my true hope. Yeah, so this going to be my den room once I have it so put together. I'm very excited about this room. You know what I'm excited about? That you all really are joining me. You don't know. This is the room that I feel like we're going to help create together. That's why I ask your opinions a lot about this room because it's, it's our room. I think y'all should have a, a place, you know, if we're going to do our YouTubes. Not every video because sometimes you want to do your thing, but a space where you say, you know what, I, need, I want y'all, we all create this together. It's something about it's very beautiful and it's very African, and I'm, I'm just so excited that we're doing it. 
So I wanted to thank you. So I want to say, let's continue to create together. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to paint myself. I'm kind of feeling that, you know, I'll ask for help when I wear and when I need it. I mean, from, you know, other people outside, if I can't get things or, you know, need some kind of moving around stuff, you know, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it myself. And then, yeah, get the, so these are the pieces that's going to be in the room, ladies. We're going to have the, these mirrors are definitely going up against that dark blue, that this, this uh, motif that's around the mirror. I got these from Home Goods. It's going to really stand out on that dark blue with that white kind of charcoal kind of Moorish, you know, Moroccan. You know I'm going to say Moroccan. I know y'all be like, let that girl, girl, please go to Morocco. I, I know I didn't even really think about it like that. I just like the design. but <laughs> So, yeah, and this is another one. So that is going to pop in. That she is going to stay, the pantry stays, this, all that natural. Like, I want, you know, I think my style is becoming that it's Afro, but you know, all that, but I like the lived-in feel. Like, I want the bananas in the picture to be, stuck, you know, turning because that's real. And that the, I had to get rid of a lemon with a little mold because that's real. And my dollars fell out my pocket, so I kept them on the potatoes, so that's real. So I feel like just even you you here, your onions with the step, with the, with the, the tap, the, what you call the tag still on it. But I got a bell pepper and some, this is fresh turmeric. Stuff is great for in your soups. And Miss Jackie, you see your beautiful to dish towels that you gave me. So this has become a container to hold these dish towels that I ain't even used yet because they're too pretty and my peers, and so everything to be natural. This is Christmas for here. I got a few things that I, I want to do. Oh, another thing too. Y'all, don't forget to decorate with your dishes. In other words, don't leave the dishes that you're not using in the cabinets until you use them, especially if you're like me, you're a single person. You got beautiful dishes, and you're not entertaining every day. Use them. So one thing I do is I took this dish because I bought two of these, just this whole, there's something about that style of that plate I just totally loved and fell in love with. So I got this one facing this way. And then let me show you the shibori. I think it's pronounced shibori. It's a Japanese uh, dyeing, color dyeing technique. And it's called shibori or shibori. I think it's shibori. And so Amazon wish list, this was on, nope, Target wish list. And it looks like mud cloth. It looks like indigo cloth, the indigo mud cloth, so much. But it's a it's a Japanese style of dyeing, and you know color dyeing. And I said, why do we need to have this? You know, not in, in the cabinet sitting there. When when I walk in here, I could see that. And I mean, that just makes me feel freaking amazing right about now. I mean, I'm gonna do a whole lot of things. So I'll, I'm gonna pull this up, and you know. So I don't have to actually look at it and, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll make it neat. I'll pull it off because there's no dishes right now. And, you know, so just really using even the bowl being here to me is beautiful. So I like pieces that are like artwork, that the piece themselves is artful as well. I, I, I use that, those bowls, these spoons, and my rest of my bowls, y'all got to all the time. So thank you for that. This, I have some containers with my oatmeal and stuff in it, my rice, and I actually use them. I just went shopping a couple of days ago, so I filled it up with uh, oatmeal, jasmine rice, lentils, things of that nature. Very simple, 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 and I love it. All right, ladies, and my refrigerator, I haven't shown you my refrigerator while it is not. Only thing I did was I took the orange juice out of the orange juice um, containers, you know, that they come in. I put them in there. That's it. There's more food than normal. I mean, mostly, and these two containers are filled with greens. And then you see all the greens on the top. Because I'm going to make a nice vegetable soup. So, and then this, they sell these here that I first found. At, yeah, I actually got them here at TJ Maxx. They sell them at whatever store I went to to get these. I can't remember. Fresh Market. Ginger beer. My daughter loves this brand. So this is for her. So yeah, I'm loving everything. I'm loving, I'm st oh my God. This is for Rachel Gorman. I want to thank you so much. This was on my Amazon wish list and she purchased this and oh my God, do I use it. And the sister that purchased this dry rack, this rack, thank you so much. Like, and the, and the spoons and the bowls and the, that was on Target, that was on Amazon. So, yeah. And what I keep around my sink, just, 
So this is some black chai tea. But I didn't, uh, it was too strong for me. I think black teas probably have caffeine. I don't know if white, I mean, this is a, this one's a white tea. But anyway, this one was a black tea. It's a chai. And my little heart was palpitating. I was like, oh, wait a second. So anyway, uh, I, but I saved my tea bags. But this one has a nice smell because it's chai. It has a cinnamon smell and all these great smells. And by accident, and this is my lemons. Let me just show you. I'll tell you in a minute. So the lemons, let me tell you what I do with the lemon slices. These are the ones that I used already, right? This, I put them down the garbage disposal. You're suggesting it's true, and I read about it. That it's, and it makes the garbage disposal unit smell so delicious. So I keep them here after I use them in my water. And then I have this cinnamon, like I said, chai. You know, chai has very wonderful spices. And then I have these, uh, this piece of ginger, fresh ginger root. And just the actual smell of all of this together. So it becomes almost like a potpourri. It's just a wonderful, natural smell. And this is the bowl that Elena Gomez gave to me. And so I use that. And uh, yeah, so very simple, but we're growing. Okay, ladies. Still life. Yes, right, right. And the thing about pain is that it is not permanent. Any mistakes can be covered. Love that, Claudia. Love that, Ottoman. Thank you. I think this painting project will be a great experience for you. Thank you, Claudia. I feel it. What's the author's name, dear? I couldn't see it, dear. Your hand was over the name. I'll give it to you. It's, I think it's Mick, M-I-C-K, Aline. So one word, A-L-I-N-E. If I forget her last name now. So I'll make sure I get it to you. Let's go see. Yes, the Polaroid. Yes, the Den Room. Okay, so here's the author, and then I'm really going to let you go. I'm in an artsy mood today, so I guess, yeah, I'm in an artsy mood. <laughs> okay, so here is her name. There you go, Thomas McAleen. So I spelled it wrong, A-L-E-N-E, McAleen Thomas. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me and my little changes. Yes, we are going on a journey together. You know what the journey is? The journey is to painting. So I'm with you, Miss Claudia. That is exactly what we're going to do, and I'm excited about it. So there she go. She in there now. We changed, We switched it up. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you, Victoria's Diary. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely love it. I'll straighten these books up and move them around, but yes. Don't they look so nice in that bowl? Thank you, Miss Jackie. I love them towels. You see, I can't use them because they're too pretty. So, <laughs> All right, ladies, have a beautiful day. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings.